Okay, so I'm doing this um, tutorial on the Sadra Bland photo being fake. Not this one, but the other one with her eyes closed. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just open up a new Photoshop document and I'm gonna just compare both photos and recreate it basically. Okay, so that's the first photo. And I need the one with her eyes closed. Mm. Where is it? It's so long. on Facebook. It's probably in here somewhere. <clears throat> here we go. Right here. So they keep saying this picture right here is the real one and that's the fake one. But from a graphic designer's point, I'm going to leave this picture right here is the real one, and this one is the fake one. I'm going to just copy this and just recreate it for you guys, so you guys can see. And so you guys can stop believing everything you're doing in it. So wait. Oh, Alright, so I'm basically about to make this picture right here look like this. And mind you, it's real dark around these areas right here. It should just look fake. <laughs> and like they just used a brush or something. Let's see. That kind of look like that, basically. <laughs> and let me do the other side. This picture is creeping me out. And then with this part right here. Bring down the opacity. And like 50. But this picture, this um dark part, like the shadows. I mean, the um, edges of Carter. And it's dark over here, so. Um. Alright, whatever. This is just, like, something rough. But as you can see, anybody could have done that. So, 
I'm really not trying to believe this shit right here. Unedited versus edited. Whereas though this one is really unedited and this one's edited. And whoever did this one is like a fuck boy. Like that's so wrong. I will not apologize for it because at the moment, black lives matter. They matter. Our media is showing you, obviously they don't. But those of you questioning why was he running away, well, goddamn. Because in in the news that we've seen as of late, you could stand there, surrender to the cops, and still be killed. 